Barack Obama's victory is what many Muslims in Britain had hoped for. Obama is seen as an inspiration to all of us. An inspiration to you? Yes. An inspiration because some Muslims see Obama's win as a change of direction for the United States. They see America's war on terror as a war on Islam. America has started war with um, you know, Muslim countries and we hope that Obama will resolve this problem. Hope is the sentiment you hear most when you ask Muslims what they feel about President-elect Obama. But there are deep divisions too, especially when it comes to radical Islamic groups. They will see him as the other side of the coin to George Bush, having the same policies, but just a different color, a different individual. Islamic preacher Anjum Chowdhury is an outspoken supporter of Osama bin Laden and the attacks of 9-11. If he's going to continue to engage in, in uh, supporting the troops who are fighting so-called terrorism, that will enrage all of the Muslims worldwide. He's not going to gain any kind of favors or any friends from anyone. But Iran's president is praising Obama, marking the first time in almost three decades an Iranian leader has wished a U.S. president well. And Obama's pledge to pull combat troops out of Iraq by the summer of 2010 has won the approval of a jihadist group in Iraq. It says Obama's election is a victory for Islamic militants everywhere. Whether for or against Obama, the Islamic world waits to see what change one man can bring. Charlie Daggett of CBS News, London.